Hey guys, Sean again with Comics Elite, and this time I'm here with Jamie Tyndall and Murphy. She is the writer of Miss Meow and Death Rage and lots of other stuff you're going to be hearing mm -hmm. about. And Jamie is co-creator, artist, main concept, mastermind, extraordinaire. And Murphy is also pretty much the editor in chief of the magazine. Yes, as well. Yes. Lots of lots of hats <laughs> being worn over here when yep. you make your own comic. Like this, <laughs> you pretty much do everything, right? Yep. So we're going to talk to these guys about what exactly is Miss Meow, what is this all about, uh, what is Death Rage, who is Death Rage, what is Merc, like what is this craziness we're talking about with all these comics. So start us off with Miss Meow. Who is Miss Meow? Oh, okay. well, yeah, Miss Meow, Miss Meow is the biggest celebrity in Merc, in the Merc world. Like she, she came, she's self-made, she's got the biggest crew that is completely loyal to her and she has probably the biggest fan base mm -hmm. uh and she also merchandises the can we swear Does, <laughs> yes you can <laughs> a little bit <laughs> merchandises the f out of herself and okay. so that's you see her you see her everywhere you go in merc world you t-shirts hats like everyone's got miss meow everywhere cool mm -hmm. so let's talk about merc world what exactly is merc world so merc world is the the universe that merc magazine um miss meow and the death rage comic as well as a couple other comics will all exist in and within merc world like our world we have celebrities we also have um uh, superheroes and comic cons and everything else so in the Merc world the superheroes and mercenaries are the celebrities of the actual world so they go to comic cons they have fans they have signings they have corporate endorsements and everything else so Miss Meow in the Merc world in a sense is like the Lady Gaga of the Merc world she was one of the very first Mercs she was one of the very first ones that figured out merchandising and product placement and everything else and sponsorships um, and then it sort of went from there. Our Death Rage character, who is behind Sean, Death is also Rage. one of the very first Mercs in Merc World. Love <clears> Death Rage. So yeah. cool. He's an amazing character. He's a cross, like he was huge in the 90s. Uh, Merc World does take place in around our timeline, like as far as our modern timeline. Um, and he was big in the 90s. He has since kind of fallen out of favor with all the corporations um, in the Merc World. However, his fan base is massive and he is a cross between Lots of different characters, lots of different characters throughout the different universes in our current, like, you know, in our modern comics. Um, but he's kind of a wash-up character. Um, one of the, like, attributes of Death Rage is that he's pretty much invincible. Um, his face shield um, is an LED screen that's neuro-connected to his brain waves. So his inside-outside voice is actually projected on his faceplate. You always know what he's thinking. You yeah. always know what he's thinking. He's going to be like, Sean. And not just his faceplate, but also... Also, his, his, <laughs> his, cod, his <laughs> Batman cod yes. piece also flashes yeah. different <laughs> warning signs as well. That's awesome. Um, so he could be sitting here in this interview right now going, Sean, man, you are an amazing guy. But on his face is like, God, you're Sean, you're douche. such a douche. <laughs> <laughs> so that gets him into trouble a lot. But um, his, uh, his sidekick is actually his daughter, who he calls Death Spawn his real name is actually Dorothy. No, her real name is Death Spawn. He named her oh, that. Oh, sorry, she yeah. She changes her name <laughs> to, to have Dorothy. a regular name. To yeah, to Dorothy. Yes. So, so what makes what makes Miss Meow different from Black Cat or Catwoman? How is she not just a rip-off of those characters? Well, she's not a secondary character. Like, she is the main character of the story. She's kind of the base of all of Merc World. That's going to be expanded a lot. I mean, we've got three series planned now, but we've got, I mean, so many more planned in the future, but mm. she's not secondary to anyone. There's no Batman. There's no, you know, whatever, like some man that she's kind of looking up to. And that's like her mission. Like her mission is herself and she's got her own plans. And if, if anyone sought after, it's her. And gotcha. I mean, that's, she's the main, the main character. Mm -hmm. gotcha. And she's not just like, uh, just like eye candy either. She is an engineer. She has designed her own tech. Uh, her combat suit is high tech. Um, we'll get into like a lot of that technology. We don't want to give anything away really, but a lot of the technology in the books is based on the combat suits that our characters wear. Um, she's also a martial artist. She's stealth. She's everything. She's like an all around like, nice. you know. Now she does have two sidekicks, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, she does. Uh, Kit and Cat. Kit and Cat. Yeah. Very cool. So those are just her, those are her right hand women, pretty much. She actually has an entire organization of uh, kittens. Yeah, that, we call them kittens. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Yeah, they have a different, the, on each kitten has, she names each kitten, so on their costumes it'll actually say, like, if it's a boy cat, it might be Mr. Cuddles. Actually, no, it's not no. Mr. Cuddles. <laughs> so it might, 
<laughs> it might be like Mr. Mittens, um, some of the girl we got cats. Mittens in issue number one. Yeah, There's going to be little... snowballs, fluffy. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. So this is obviously the beginnings of a much larger universe, mm -hmm. it sounds like. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Meow being right now the center. So who's her, you know, most, most characters are defined by their villains. So who is her villain who's her enemy who's her nemesis ying to her yang yes yeah. uh her nemesis is catfight mm -hmm. so catfight and her we won't give anything away in the story but it is addressed in the very first story um <clears throat> catfight shows up and catfight is like one of the higher end mercs um she is just like miss meow an engineer by trait and combat trained and she actually works with uh, a group that'll turn out to be one of the biggest groups in the Merc world is the Spartans. Mm -hmm. And they are the descendants of early Sparta. Um, they've been going throughout the years. Um, like any organization evolves through time, the Spartans have evolved from a military organization in ancient Greece, defeating the Persians, mm -hmm. to corporate America, where they actually own their own line of healthcare products for men. Cool. But they also own their own or mercenary line and they have their own Mercs that work for them. Mm -hmm. So they've sort of branched out. Okay. So, so that's they they had a piece in creating Catfight <clears throat> to be what she is now. Uh, yeah. But I'm actually really excited to write her because she's really uh, the first character that we have that is just going to be not completely unhinged, but unhinged enough that it's going to be it's going to be kind of a wild ride. She is Especially very in this first angry. series, it's going to yeah. focus a lot on <clears throat> Catfight. Very cool. Yeah. yeah, I like the costume designs. They are very contrasting to each other. Miss yeah. Meow seems mm -hmm. to be she's very. Bubble sexy, gum. <laughs> of course, but she's yeah, she's fully clothed. Yeah. Uh, it may be a skin tight costume, but she's, you know, her costume is very <clears throat> conservative, if that's the right word. Yeah. Whereas Catfight is clearly the <laughs> polar opposite. Yeah, of she's like a cross between Britney Spears, Lady Gaga, and Taylor Swift. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cat, Catfight, <laughs> Catfight seems to be her. Main mode of costumes is lingerie and BDSM mm -hmm. gear. So yes. Oh, very yeah. much so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. almost a cross between Victoria's Secrets and Guns and Ammo. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like it. So I look forward to it. I look forward to, I have of course know what's happening, uh, <laughs> but yes. I look forward to getting this thing released. Depending on when you're watching this, the issue one preview has already been released. Uh, something else I would like to talk about that we're doing a little different with this is um, the, some Kickstarters, uh, some comic series, they use a lot of recycled art. They use a lot of repurposed images. Uh, you'll see a cover done four or five different times. Uh, we're really steering away from that with this book. Uh, if you see a cover, it may be done in a metal version. It may have, uh, you know, a nice version, a naughty version. And that's going to be it. You're not going to see the same cover repeated over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, we're really looking for, you know, if you buy that cover, that issue, if it's limited, it's limited to that print run, and that's it. That won't be recolored purple and then launched again uh, or with a different background. I just kind of feel like that's, that's cheap. It's kind of cheating, and it's not really being honest with the collectors and with the fans. So yeah. we're really trying to, to keep the art integrity uh, at a high level with this uh, so you don't feel like you're kind of being taken for a ride if you get a cover that you like and it's collectible because it's a great image it's not going to be reused six or seven different times no and we have so many wonderful artists that oh, yeah. you know we've got I mean just here at the beginning we've got six or seven different characters that we can kind of show them and say like like run free and I mean already just we've gotten maybe 15 covers in for you know Miss Meow and Death Rage that's coming next and some of these covers are just so cool, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah. Yeah, I want I want them to be creative. I want like new stuff coming in constantly. And that's I mean that's the plan. That's what Absolutely. we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Very excited. Uh, so guys, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for tuning in again. Go to uh, MercMagazine.com. That's the website. Mm -hmm. That's where you can find it. it's not MissMeow.com. It's MercMagazine.com. That's going to be where you can find all of these issues, uh, information about them, buying the issues that's available. Search for it on Kickstarter. There will probably always be something being Kickstarter from this. Mm -hmm. uh, almost every issue will have a Kickstarter going with it as well. Issue one is going to be starting here very soon. If you're watching this in the future, issue one may be completed, and maybe we're on issue three already. Uh, but thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Please, we're trying to grow the channel and get more awesome interviews with creators <laughs> like this on here. 
and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.